I got some great dollar comics to show you, and oh yeah, be prepared for that all-important smell test. Hey, all my webheads and comic book fans out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I'm bringing you episode five of dollar bin diving that's right guys this is the video series where each week i go to the shop and i pick up those musty those old those dusty dollar bin comic books and we'll see what i can get and don't forget i do that all important smell test on top of it so it's a lot of fun to see which comic books i get so hopefully you enjoy and guys if you want to become a webhead member just go ahead and hit that join button right there on my home screen it definitely helps supports the channel and it gives you extra perks so guys let's get started with this week's dollar bin diving as i got guys mowing the front yard and uh, it's making lots of noise so hopefully you don't hear too much of it so here it is a mysterious black bag from the comic shop and inside of course is those musty old dollar bin books so here we go here is the little stack and guys i think i got some pretty good books here you tell me in the comment section now i could not find what this book was actually worth if it was in great condition but i found issue number 90 of green lantern co-starring a green lantern i'm sorry green lantern co-starring a green arrow i thought this book was awesome when i saw it i was like yes i gotta definitely pick this up i love green lantern green arrow is awesome classic series this was made back in 1976 smell test this one's old i this one is old boy Woo. Got some yellow pages. The front cover is barely hanging on, but check out the artwork in this book. Look at how Jordan in there. It looks phenomenal. Love this. This screams classic comics for me right here. Check it out. We got Sinestro. Is that Sinestro on there? Who is that? Not sure. But yes, you get to see our favorite heroes there doing battle. And then here's one more art page. So yes, yeah, so cool, man, to have this one. Green Lantern, Green Arrow. This is like definition of dollar bin right here. It's a little faded on the cover and stuff, right? All right, never seen this book before. The next one is Quest Probe featuring the Human Torch and the Thing by Scott Item. Scott Items. So here is the exterior, or here's the cover. Looks like a Mysterio character, and you got the thing in the Human Torch on there. So that's kind of cool. Glossy cover, made in, let's see, 1985. It's got kind of some white pages in there. So here are some of the interior artwork. Looks good. Again, I never heard of this book. You guys let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. How many of you guys remember this, where it was a, a, a watch that turned into a transformer? Did you guys have that? Especially for the older audience out there. This is pretty good artwork though, I like this. This could be an interesting book. Smell test, this has got to smell good. Yep, not too musty, just kind of, kind of. Oh man, am I getting a little pain from smelling this stuff? I tell you man, I don't know. But that seems pretty cool. All right, next, we have the man thing. Uh, and it says, whatever knows fear burns at the touch of the man thing, Himalayan nightmare. And this is issue two. This book is rough. Not so much in the front. It presents itself well, kind of well in the front, but look at the back. Look at all the stains on it. It is just a muddy mess. I can tell you, man, this one's not gonna smell good. I think it's got some water damage, but here is the interior art with the man thing in there. Cool ads. Look at that. Let's check it out. No, sometimes it smells the same, man. So far, I have, I have my. I'm going to give you the winner of, of the whiff test in, a, in once we get done with this. But so far, I have my top contender. All right, next is a newer comic, well, I guess, kind of. Spawn issue 11. This is not new anymore, I guess, guys, because this was made in the 19, what, 92 or something like that. So, Spawn issue 11. I don't have this issue. Obviously, we can see the great artwork by Todd McFarlane in this book, which is so awesome. Early issues of Spawn. And for a dollar, this book is in really good shape. 
Here's some more of that art. Does this one smell? This smells like cigarette smoke. This is a smoker's book. Absolutely smells like smoke. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I don't know. Does that top the top the other one? We'll find out at the end. All right. Next one was kind of cool. I wish they had the run of this in the dollar bin, but they didn't. They only had this issue. This is Hawkeye. This is issue three. Uh, and there he is with Mockingbird. So I think that was a kind of a cool cover. And I was like, you know what? Even they, even though they only had this issue, I felt like I had to pick it up. This is a classic '80s book. I think it was '83. Yeah, I was right. I hit the, I hit the uh, nail on the head there. So here we get the classic costume, right, of Mockingbird and Hawkeye. I mean, just looks totally awesome there. So cool. Excited to have this one in the collection. This one smells like a traditional comic book from that time period. Not overly musty. Yeah, that smells good. All right, how many of you guys had this book in the 90s, right? Luke Cage issue one, or just known as Cage. And this is Marvel's hottest action hero returns. First issue collector's item unleashing the power. So, yes, this was made in 1992. And so here we get to see some of that interior artwork right there. So we got Luke Cage all bulked up, ready to do some action against his enemies. Here's some more interior artwork. All right, it's pretty cool. There we go. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff there. And this one, Smell traditional comic book old smell that's fine here was an interesting book that i wound up finding from dc comics this one is weird war tales uh this is issue 102 i found this weird because it's got a mix of characters right it's got hitler on there with frankenstein the wolfman and looks like dracula so i thought that one was weird and it says and guess who comes out second best so I don't know what's happening in this book. These Weird World books are kind of weird, but this book is in rough shape on the back cover, and I'll show you that in a second. So here we go. Got the army guys doing battle. Here we got this going on. So a lot of army stuff. And then uh, here's the back cover of this one. You can see it's all damaged up, right? Smell-wise, hmm, I think it's... I think it's second worst. All right, next, we wind up getting a pretty cool book I didn't know that existed. This is H.G. Wells' The Island of Dr. Monroe. So I thought that was kind of cool. I saw that cover and I'm like, oh, that's that's awesome. And this one was made in back in 1977. It's in pretty good shape, a little bit yellow around the edges. Couldn't tell you last time this has probably been opened up. Ooh. That's rough. Oh, man. <laughs> I think this might take the cake. So here we got that going on right there. So that's pretty cool. Look at the creatures. Look at the face and the story. There's so much dialogue. There's definitely a story being told there. So the island of Dr. Monroe. All right. Next, I wound up getting this Daredevil issue. This is issue 279. Uh, this one paid a dollar for it. This is uh, by the hands of Mephisto. And I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Why not pick this one up? It's a Mephisto issue, right? He's all over the place these days. Here's some of the interior artwork. This one's like all printed up, like jacked up. All right, that's that news article print right there. That's pretty cool. See if we got some. Oh, this is nice art right here. That's pretty. Let's see if we get some Daredevil in there. There he is. So that's really cool. So this Daredevil issue, this one was done by Ann Nocetti. And the pencils are done by John Romita Jr. Wow, how different his artwork was back then. Uh, back in 1990. So there's that issue there. Smell test. Got to check it. Mmm, doesn't beat Doctor of Island Monroe so far. All right, next I wound up getting a really decent issue for a cheap price. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, guest starring Spider-Woman. I was a huge fan of Julia Carpenter. I thought she was the hottest thing since sliced bread, man. 
I love the character. Such a cool character. And her teaming up with Spider-Man with the same black costume I thought was so cool back then. And they're doing battle against the Wrecker. This book is in pretty good shape. Nothing wrong with it. Paid four bucks for it. Again, the highest I can pay for dollar books is five. That's my own rule. And then last but not least, I had to get this one. This is definitely the off the wall of the book of the week so far. This is Strange Adventures um, from DC Comics, right? Issue 233. Now this cover tells a story and I'm taking this one out of the bag and board. Because I need to see what this interior looks like in this. Oh my God, when was the last time this was open? Okay. So here's what it looks like. There's a little stain. You get to see the little wrinkles in the corners. It was 25 cents, right? 48 pages. And it says, <laughs> Earth's frozen heat wave. What happened on Cyrus 4 starring the Star Rovers? The man who stole the air. Adam Strange. Invisible Raiders or of Ron. And the guy on, this, on the, the news reporter says, how could every drop of water on Earth suddenly freeze during a record-breaking heat wave? You get to see like the kid trying to drink water and it's frozen, so it's crazy, right? And then here's some of the interior art and it says, Earth's frozen heat wave. This is definitely a weird book, man. Some of the interior, that's pretty cool. Oh, this one's rough. This is worse. I gotta do, I, I gotta check it out. This one is rough when it comes to that smell. And then the pages are so delicate in this one. But you got, you got uh, what's his face on there? Adam Strange. All right, so when it comes to smell, Strange Adventures or Island of Dr. Monroe. A lot of them all smell pretty bad. There's that, what's it called? That, um, spawn issue that actually smells really bad with cigarette smell but it doesn't take the cake so let's see this one or island of dr monroe island of dr monroe actually by far holy cow this is your champion of the week right here the whiff of the week the winner is the island of dr monroe issue one so there you guys have it there are the dollar bins for dollar bin books for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I'm not getting brain damage or something from this. But this is a lot of fun to do each week and hopefully you guys are getting a kick out of it as well. Let me know in the comments below if you picked up any dollar bin books. Go ahead and join my Facebook group page called Comic Book Corner 2.0 Webheads Unite and just put hashtag dollar and you can share those books on there. All right. So, guys, if you like this video, again, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. I'll leave you more content right here to check out. Until next time, this is Mike Spicer signing off. Enjoy those books.